I'm Ed Gosling, and I'm 22 years old. Asperger's syndrome is, well, well, it's not technically a classification anymore. Some people still use Asperger's syndrome to describe those like high-functioning autism spectrum disorder. Basically, it impairs some things like social skills in in some people. In first year, in particular, I found it very, found it very difficult to sort of get into a routine. On on occasion, my occasion my sort of emotions have kind of run high when I've when I've done things like forgot to turn in an assignment and I've basically broken down in tears and got a bit Ugh. Other things you did, typical sort of ex stress before exams. People with Asperger's, as I said before, do tend to have very specific interests. Like for the longest time mine was video games. And it, that's evolved into kind of pop culture in general. This is one of the series I do, it's called It's Weird. And bas basically what it is is where I take games which I think are really weird and point out what's weird about them. For instance, this one, it, this this one I'm reviewing. I think it's a weird indie game, in which that which is meant to look like some sort of weird Christian shovelware game from the nineties. Yeah. Um, probably some of the more negative ones, I'd say. To, say pe people think that people with As Asperger's and autism in general are really really good at maths. That is absolutely not true. <laughs> another another one probably is that like all people with autism like, are kind of emotionless or just don't want to talk to people, that couldn't be further from the truth. People with autism and Asperger's, by extension, I, f I feel have very, very broad em emo emotional ranges, more so, so than most people. It actually ha hasn't had that much of a negative impact. If, if anything, it's had probably had more of a positive impact, because the stuff that I've been more interested in, I've, I've been really interested in, so I've been able to really focus on them and really crank out some good stuff.